Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Linear Algebra. In this video, we're going to talk about the row reduction um, algorithm. Basically, it allows you to transform any kind of matrix into the echelon form of that matrix. So, um, let's look at the first matrix here. This is the problem on the left from the last video that I didn't talk about. So basically, for the solutions to this set of uh, to a matrix, there are three possible outcomes. The first outcome is that there is no solution at all. The second one is there is probably one set of solution, and the second and the third one will be um, there is infinite sets of solution there. So for the first matrix here. Um, let's remember what's the first step of solving the matrix. The first step would be finding the row with the least zero term in it. In this case, it will be either two or third. Uh, it will be either the second one or the third one, but it doesn't really matter here. Let's just go with the second one. The first step is to limit the first variable. It will be negative two times the second equation plus the third equation. And the outcome would be, let's see, zero and negative two, eight, and negative one. So this will be our third prime. This will be the new third equation. And um, let's use the third prime with the first equation to eliminate the second variable. And to do this, we basically use the negative two times the first equation plus the, oh shoot, it will be just two here. And the, the outcome will be zero, 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 15. And that is really weird, isn't it? Because there's no variable in this equation However, the equation is equal to 15. If you translate it, it will be just 0 equal to 15. And that is freaking possible, right? So basically, this matrix is not consistent. It doesn't have any solution here. Okay, so let's move on. And this time, we'll look at the um, this second matrix. And it seems pretty complicated, right? Because it is more complicated than the first one and the one that we talked about in the last video. So basically, how you solve it is pretty much the same. And now we're getting to the row reduction algorithm. Out of these three um, equations here, out of these three equations here, oh, four equations, out of all of the four equations here, find the equation that has the least zero term in it which in this case, it will be the first and the second and the third equations. They all have the same number of non-zero term. So how do we, okay, in this case, we'll just pick any one of them, okay, a random one. And let's just go with the first one. And we will use the first one to, so this is the first step of the row reduction algorithm. You choose it and uh, this is the entry level. This is the pivotal position of the first equation. And you have to make sure that you eliminate all of the constants here. You eliminate all of the constants here. And um, um, this is the first step towards getting the echelon form of the matrix. Plus the first, plus, uh, okay add the first equation and the second equation together and uh, the result will be 0 to 4 negative 6 and uh, negative 6 here so okay this is just the constant value this will be our new second equation here okay and um, let's add the second equation, what, first equation and the third equation together. And the result would be, uh, use, okay, two times the first equation plus the third equation here. 
and the result will be um zero five at the first term and second zero five and uh fifteen yeah fifteen here and um zero five wait wait a minute ten yeah it will be ten here and negative fifteen negative fifteen and uh, negative fifteen here so we will have the um this is a new third equation new third equation here so the new matrix will be Um, second equation is two, negative six, negative fifteen, negative fifteen. Third. And now we can cover, we can basically cover the first equation here. It doesn't matter in the further applications, in the further steps, in the further steps. So now we use the second equation as the how how did I put it? Capstone? Okay. We we use it as the elimination standard. We use this equation to eliminate the second variable in the third equation in the third equation and the fourth equation. We use it to eliminate the third equation and the fourth equation here if you add okay so the equation now would just be um, plus the third equation zero okay and um, the second zero this is the second term and um this is also zero zero um zero so basically it all cancel out which means this row would be ignored it's all zero okay it's all zero and um we're gonna use the as for the uh, that would just be no way we don't need a negative sign here just um, one plus the second equation plus the fourth equation here will be zero zero and um, zero and four okay that will be negative 5 and negative 5 and uh, that will be 0 so basically we're, le we're left with the new fourth equation we will call it 4 prime okay 4 prime so now we have our final matrix this is now we get the actual form of our matrix here because it's one four five negative nine negative seven and uh, the next row will be four, negative six negative six and the third uh, and the third row would just be we have a row of all zero terms so we're just ignored it this is our new matrix and now we get a actual form of this matrix and it has its pivotal values here here and here these are pivotal values however you probably noticed that we have okay here's another concept sorry let me erase all of this basically oh shoot oh, that's uncomfortable So basically, um, you see that we have the first variable, second variable, the fourth variable, 
as pivotal variables, which also has the name of basic variable here. However, what's missing here? The only missing variable here is the uh, the third variable. Is the free variable, and it doesn't matter. Okay. If you have any free variable in your matrix, this matrix has infinite solutions. Okay, so now in the first video and the second video, we went through the algorithm and the second, uh, the three scenarios that could possibly happen um, from a matrix and. Um, I will get to some more advanced topic in the next few videos. Thank you for watching and uh, leave a like, please, or subscribe to my channel. It really helps me a lot. And thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching.